Today I'd like to talk about how to split a signal from a single LNB to more than one receiver in a free satellite TV system. But to understand your options here, you need to understand why simply using a splitter may not necessarily be the best choice. I already made a video on this topic early last year, but that was when I first got into this hobby. And since then, my understanding about this has grown. So that's what I'd like to talk about today. Now, normally you can use a splitter on an over-the-air antenna or cable TV system without any real issues, unless, of course, you split the signal up too many times. You can split those signals up and send them to multiple TVs, digital converter boxes, or cable boxes without any real problems. And that's because those types of TV signals are not polarized the way that satellite TV signals are. Free satellite TV signals are linear polarized, meaning that the signal wavelengths traveling from space are orientated in either a horizontal or vertical line. And that allows for a more efficient use of bandwidth. But having polarized signals on satellite TV means your receiver has to switch back and forth between the horizontally and vertically polarized channels. Your receiver can only handle one polarity at a time not both. So that can present problems when you try to split a signal off an LNB to go to multiple receivers. There's a bit of confusion there. Because both receivers want to backfeed voltage commands to the LNB, that can lead to signals getting crossed and signals getting lost. Here I have a single output LNB split off of this dish which is fixed on satellite 103 West KU band. That's the satellite that has Cozy TV, the NBC national feeds, as well as NHK World Japan and a few other international channels. I have this single LNB split off to two receivers, one for my living room and one for my garage. Now in this configuration, one receiver becomes like the main receiver or the control receiver that does all the polarity switching for both receivers. And the other receiver becomes like a secondary or follower receiver. And the follower receiver can only receive channels that are on the same polarity as the main receiver is tuned to. Now here is the installation menu and signal meter for my second receiver that's in the garage. This is the follower receiver. Now right now we're getting a great signal here on this transponder, 11760. It's a horizontal transponder that carries NBC and Cozy TV. Great signal here. I could watch this right now if I wanted. Now watch what happens when I go in the house and change to a vertically polarized channel. I'll just pick NHK World Japan. The signal disappears. And now back in the garage here, let's find that vertical transponder that carries NHK World. Signal comes in. So with this setup, you can only watch channels on your second receiver that are on the same polarity that your main receiver is tuned to. So let's say your main receiver is tuned to a channel that is horizontally polarized you'll be able to receive only the horizontally polarized channels on your second receiver. But if you change channels on your main receiver to a vertically polarized channel, you'll be able to watch the vertically polarized channels on your second receiver. Now, this is not necessarily an ideal setup. If you're just looking to get a few channels on a second receiver somewhere else in your house, then this might work for you. One thing you can do to make this work a little better is to go into your satellite installation menu of your second receiver and turn the LNB power off. And what that does is prevents your second receiver from backfeeding any voltage commands to your LNB and confusing the situation. This will allow either the horizontal or vertical channels to come through on your second receiver and not cause any signal cross ups. Now, the satellite TV splitters that are easiest to find are probably this kind here that have power passing on all ports. And that might work fine in some situations, but in this type of a setup where you're splitting an LNB signal between two receivers, that can be problematic. So one way around this 
is to turn the LNB power off on your second receiver. Now, another option is to find a splitter like one of these that only has power passing on a single port. And that means that the other port would have the DC voltage from your receiver blocked off. Now, probably a simpler thing to do if you want to have full control of all channels on all receivers is to skip the splitters altogether and just use an LNB like one of these, a multi-output LNB. This one here allows connection to two receivers. And this one is a quad output that can connect up to four receivers. And because all of the switching happens here at the LNB, all receivers will receive all channels and you can control what channel you're watching regardless of polarity independent of all the other receivers connected to your system. Now, another option to connect more than one receiver to a single dish is to use a switch like this, known as a 3x4 multi-switch. But in order to make this work, you have to use it in conjunction with a dual output LNB. And I'll be exploring this option in an upcoming video.